Here we are on the timesheet screen under the edit time tab on the left hand side. This is the main screen you're going to see each and every time you log into LMN time for the first time. What this screen shows you is a list of the timesheets that have currently been submitted or that your foreman are still working on in the field. Here, for example, each row shows me a unique timesheet. Each one has a timesheet date, foreman, its current status, and when it was last modified. Now the status walks through four different statuses for each timesheet. In progress means the foreman is working on this. So this is an open timesheet still being worked on in the field or one that just hasn't yet been submitted. We don't want to see these hanging open for too long, one or two days maximum. Ideally, foreman should be submitting every single night. Submitted is the next stage of timesheet. When a foreman is done completing their timesheet for the day, they submit it as a way of saying, this timesheet is accurate to the best of my abilities. Then you know the timesheet is right and ready for your review. In review is the next status. An in review allows you to lock down a timesheet so that the foreman can't make any more changes. You can still make changes in an administrator, but the foreman can no longer change anything. So in review makes sure that nothing else can change from the foreman's end, gives you a chance to review and approve it. And when you're done reviewing and approving it, you flip it to approved, and that indicates this timesheet has been completed, the foreman signed off on it, the office has signed off on it, it's ready for payroll and job costing. The way to change statuses is by clicking off these boxes here and using the change status box down here. But we'll get into changing statuses a little later on when we cover the approve time tab on the left hand side. That's a better window for looking at timesheets. You don't want to necessarily open and close each and every timesheet here to review them. There's a lot faster ways of doing that under the approve time tab. The other thing you can do from the screen is create new timesheets. So if the office was creating timesheets for their own time tracking, or you were creating timesheets for someone in the field that uh, lost their phone that day or something, you could go down to the Add Timesheet button, click the plus sign, and you'll start creating a timesheet, just like you would on a phone, but it's on the computer screen. You can also edit somebody's timesheet. So if somebody needs to make a change, they picked the wrong job, they uh, made a mistake on their time, you can simply open up somebody's timesheet, You'd have to flip it back to edit mode by clicking this pencil. That'll change the timesheet back to in progress. And you can make any changes you need, resubmit it, and the timesheet's ready for payroll approval. You can also delete timesheets. If the timesheet's been submitted in duplicate, or for some other reason you need to delete them, simply tick the timesheets that you want to delete, and then click the delete selected box down here at the bottom. Just remember, when you delete a timesheet, it's gone forever. There is no undo. Last, you might want to play around with the search box. The search box is a really handy tool. For example, if I just want to see all of Dave Barr's timesheets, I can search by Dave's last name, Barr, and it'll return all of Dave's Barr's timesheets. Over here, I can also pick a date range for which to return the timesheets, or if I want, a specific status. When you're done looking at Dave's timesheets, simply click the red X on this box, and it'll return to your master list. Now you can also search timesheets by job. Simply type in the name of the job, hit the search button, and it'll return timesheets that contain a reference to a specific job. That's it for the Edit Timesheet screen. For more information on approving time, check the next video on the Approve Time tab. We'll give you better and shorter ways to have a look at submitted time and to approve it for payroll.